Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to install Windows 8 in VirtualBox. This is probably going to be the best method for installing Windows, as instead of having to, you know, dual boot or, you know, find an old computer or, you know, have to deal with partitions and all that kind of stuff, you can just simply install it in VirtualBox very simply, very easily without any major fuss. So to do this, you're going to need a couple things. First is going to be the VirtualBox software. This is entirely free, and you can download it from the link in the description of this video. And on top of that, you also need the ISO. Now, there are two different, well, actually, there are three different versions. There's a 32, 64-bit, uh, there's a 32-bit, a 64-bit, as well as a 64-bit with developer tools. You can download whatever one you want. I'll be using 64-bit for this uh, tutorial. And just download it. Um, and again, both links will be in the description. So once you have everything you need, go ahead and open up VirtualBox and click New. And you see here it says the new virtual machine window, Wizard. Click Next. Uh, now here we need to connect our operating system. So what we're going to do is tell it that we have Windows 7. So if you have Windows 7 32-bit, just click that. Or 64-bit like me, you click 64-bit. All right, so now we need a name, so we'll just put Windows. Doesn't really matter too much there. Next is the RAM. Now, basically, the more RAM you can afford, the better. So, for example, I have 8 gigabytes of RAM, so I can just go ahead and allot 4 gigs to this. Now, this is not actually going to, like, take a 4 gig block out of your RAM or anything, uh, but what it will do is that's the maximum it can take. So, if you have 4 gigs in your system, you'd probably want to go, like, 2 or whatever, but that's entirely up to you. Uh, next is to go ahead and create a boot hard disk. So just click Create New Hard Disk if it isn't already checked, and click Next. And you're going to need to create the disk itself. This is really simple. You can just click VDI again, just you know, just hit Next a bunch, and then you have two options: dynamically allocated and fixed size. Uh, dynamically allocated would just basically creates a file on your hard drive that pretends that it's a hard drive. Um, you can do that, but and it you know can change the size if you need more. But I like to do fixed size just because it seems to be a little bit more stable. So you can certainly do that, and then just decide how big you want. Now the minimum is pretty much going to be 20 gigs, but I recommend doing something more like 30, or if you have you know, more space, 40, or something like that. Uh, now at this point, all you need to do is hit the create button. Uh, it will take a little while, so maybe take 5, 10 minutes, whatever, to create your virtual machine. Now, I've already done this, so we'll just skip on to it. And we have Windows 8, so let's go ahead and double click it. And we have the first run wizard. So we'll click next and find our installation media. So all you guys see, so you just hit this little green arrow thing and select that ISO that we downloaded. Hit open and click next. So it says, you know, you selected to make sure that it is the proper thing, which it is, and click start. So at this point, it's going to go ahead and start booting up, figuring out everything. You guys can see here, it is working. So it's going to take a little while to get the files loaded, and there we go. So we have the Windows Developer Preview. All right, so once you get to this screen, it's super easy. Just make sure that the language and everything is correct. Click next. Rather click next again. Click install now. And from here, it will take a little while. Obviously, you are installing Windows. It's, you know, 3, 4 gigabytes or however big it is. So what you need to do is just be patient here. Allow it to fully run through. Uh, I will go ahead and show you guys the license terms and all that kind of stuff. And again, let's click on that. Click next. Uh, instead of upgrading, we're going to go ahead and install a new. And since we only have the one disk, just click on that. Hit next. And it will take, again, just one minute. And now it's going to be copying all our files. So at this point, you can safely go away from the computer, go sit and chill. And, you know, it could take a little while. So just, uh, you know, chill for a little bit, and I'll be right back as soon as it's done. All right, so once it's done installing everything, we just need to do one quick step, enable for it to boot. So we need to go ahead and right-click our Windows uh, 8, or whatever you decide to name your virtual machine, and click Settings. And then what you need to do once it loads, you need to come down to Storage. And you'll see this. It's going to be the, oops, yeah, it's this one. Uh, it's going to be the Windows Developer Preview. What you need to do is come over to this and remove it. So we're going to go ahead and remove that. Click OK. Now we're going to open up our virtual machine once again. All right, so once it's done loading, you will see a screen just like this. So yeah, I'm sure you guys can handle it by yourself. But I'll go ahead and walk you guys through it show you exactly what the first boot is like. So we need to create a name. So we'll just create, I'll say, Austin. And click Next. Oops. And click Next. And this is, of course, the first look that we've had at the Metro UI, which I think looks really quite nice. Anyway, guys, we are now officially in Windows 8, so after a little bit of setup and whatnot, we are going to be good to go. So you can see here, the interface is working just fine. We can click over here, come back to our desktop, and come back over to the interface here, scroll through, and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, guys, that's going to be about it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you're interested in more Windows 8 videos, be sure to subscribe.